afternoon and welcome back to the Peak District once again and today I'm at Chapel on the Frith station and I have to say I'm excited about this one the views around on the lines here or well, the line here is spectacular so I hope you enjoy this one and welcome again to down the line On my journey back to New Mills, I could not resist alighting at Chapel on the Frith to have a look at this wonderful Peak District station. It was opened in 1863 by the London and North Western Railway on its line from Whaley Bridge to Buxton. The station has many interesting features and this definitely gives the impression of going back in time and is matched with the quietness of the Peak District. So this station, as well as the other ones on along this line, are managed and serviced by Northern Trains. Um, services are around one every sort of hour, or they sometimes have a bigger gap um, in the morning and then in the afternoon, but regularly, probably about an hour, every once every hour. Um, but no, it, it's great to have a little look around. I mean, on the signs, it says home of Frodo and capital of the peak. So, you know, capital of the peak, bold statement, very, very bold statement. And um, I'm enjoying it so far. Chapel on the Frith originates from the French derived name meaning Chapel in the Forest and seeing this area for myself I can truly see why and when you head out into the station car park you can see a breathtaking panoramic view of the village and the Peak District National Park. What a place and what a view. So I've just got to the end of the platform here and what a nice way to cross the railway. I like that. This station is one of very few to still have its walkway to cross between platforms. This is because of houses further up the hill needing a reliable crossing. Back in 1957, there was a fatal collision after a brake failure on a Stania Class 8F sent it hurtling down the 1 in 58 gradient. There is a plaque to commemorate the bravery shown by the driver and guard on that very fateful day. I've just had a look at the old map of the railway station here in the shelter behind me and it just shows that how there's always more here. So just here it looks overgrown everything but back here there was another siding line and behind me as well there's a couple of other siding lines as well as a secondary signal box um, from what I've just read there. Um, that's the thing with these stations there's always more than meets the eye. Just got to look. <laughs> I have to say, I have thoroughly enjoyed my time at this station and the nickname Capital of the Peak truly matches this brilliant station. And now it's time to wait to get on the train on the next service back to New Mills Newtown as I head back towards New Mills and Edel for the rest of my northern journey. Right, and that is Chapel on the Frith done as well. I'm cracking on well with these Peak District stations and do you know what, I'm enjoying it, each and every one, and I've said this before, characteristics and this station along this line it definitely sets itself apart and I have to agree with what I've seen here today but as always I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next time down the line <laughs>